Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pinaris, and welcome back to Detroit. Last episode, we played a little bit as Marcus, and we got into learn a little bit more about Jericho. And we also played as Car, and we had to escape yet again from some awful human, and that was pretty crazy. But now it looks like we're getting into Connor, and it looks like we're gonna have to talk to Amanda again. So, find Amanda, and she's over there this time. You know what? Last time I didn't look around. I think I want to look around this time, just to see what this whole place is about. This place is actually really strange to me for some reason. Touch. Let's see what all this stuff is. Oh. That's it? I can't do anything else? Weird. That's really weird. Okay, let's go down this path. There seems to be a boat there. I doubt I can use the boat, but that'd be really cool if I could. I probably should go check that out, shouldn't I? Before I say I can't. I don't get to use the umbrella. I'm guessing the umbrella is for her. Let's see, is there anything over there that I can check out? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can walk across this path. We can go check out that boat. Okay, so Amanda's right there. We'll be with you in a bit, Amanda. Still don't like you, because I don't think you're truly on anyone's side but your own. Let's see, can we take this boat? Yeah, I didn't think so, but that would be cool. Are those flamingos? No, that's a fish. Why did I think that was a flamingo? What's wrong with my eyesight? Okay. Alright, these nice bonsai trees here. Is there anything over there that's cool? Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out that I missed something. That's no big deal, I guess. Alright, Amanda. Time for another conversation. Don't you dare question me about why I saved Hank. Hello, Amanda. Hi, I've been expecting you. Of course. Would you mind a little walk? Sure. See, I knew that umbrella was for her. I don't know why she was standing out here without an umbrella, but sure. Let's go for a walk. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. It's pretty disturbing with all those birds. I don't care, Amanda. Explain. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? Something about a maze in that book. Signs on the wall. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. Whatever that is. What else? Do we tell her about the diary? Let's I missed something? Apparently I missed something. I'm fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms like insects or pets. Okay. But nothing like this. That's interesting. Came very close to capturing that deviant. Yeah, we've been through this. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Good, we're friends now. Saving Hank. Negative, ambitious. Let's go. I'm not gonna tell her I saved him. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell her that information because she might decommission me or try to reset me. Like that other guy, Zlaco. continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Awesome. Find Anderson and investigate it. You're gonna tell me about the case, or no? Guess not. Okay. Well, guess she didn't need this umbrella. Don't worry, Connor. We don't need her. So, what are we doing now? This is a taxi? Interesting. Step out. Hank. Yep, we're friends. Look for Lieutenant- Oh, this is his house. 
All right, time for a quick scan. We got a window, we got a car, and we got a door. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk away. Let's check his car. Looks like he pulled in a little fast. Can I open the car? Or this is just a place to look? I'm guessing it's just a place to look, even though it still pops up as it's something I can do. Okay, let's check the window. Can't see anything in here. This must be his bedroom or something. What about over here? Is that a dog? Oh, the St. Bernard. That's cool. Let's check around the back. I The reason why I'm going around here is I highly doubt that the front door is just going to be unlocked and waiting for me. L1. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should go to the front door first. Oh, Hank. Hank is unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson. Do I break his window? I guess so. Come on, Connor. Enter. Uh, easy. That's a huge dog. dog. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. Massive dog. Jesus, you beast. Get up. The way he jumped in that window was insane. Hank, okay, you're drinking. Examine. Can I analyze? Did you try to kill yourself? No. Why? What's your issue? I wonder if this has anything to do. I wonder if this has anything to do with him hating androids. Traces of alcohol, scotch, whiskey. Did you throw up on yourself? Hey, you're still alive. Slight arrhythmia. No signs of trauma. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma? So you passed out from drinking too much? Wake up, Lieutenant. Wake up. It's oh, me, Connor. Jesus. Help up. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Are we going to put him in the shower? Leave me alone, fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. Be quiet, sorry, Hank. But I need you. Come on, buddy. Thank We're going to put you in the shower. We get the fuck out of here. Lift. <laughs> okay. Tank Hank to the bathroom. Sumo, now... Attack. Sumo, I'm going to need you to relax. Attack. Is the bathroom over here? Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, yeah, you're drunk. Open. At least I knew where the bathroom was, I guess. Up. Let's go. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Hank, you gotta stop drinking. Come on, you can't fight me. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. <laughs> don't fall. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry. You gotta sit down. It's for your own good. Just sit down. Turn on. Was that hot? I think that was hot. What the fuck are you doing here? I'm trying to help you. Reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? Nope, I cannot. Aggressive solution, pragmatic solution. You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Shut up, Connor. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. Don't fall. Tease. You know what? Let's tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. <laughs> you know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. 
Alright, let's do a little scan. Can we look in the mirror? Hank found Hank sobered up. Bring Hank clean clothes. Let's take a look in the mirror. I want to take a look at these post-it notes, but I can't really see them that well. Let's go and find his bedroom, which I'm guessing is this window I looked in. Can I look around some more? Or maybe I should just focus. We got a magazine there, which I don't think I can pick up because it doesn't have a highlight on it. All right, let's open this up. What do you want to wear? Whatever. <laughs> Hippie, stripey, or streaky. We're going to go for hippie. <laughs> Maybe next time you won't say it doesn't matter. You better enjoy these clothes, Hank. Are you all right, Lieutenant? No, he's yakking. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Just, uh, Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Oh, that's awful. Jeez. Learn more about Hank. Okay, awesome. I do get the snoop. Okay. First thing first, we're going to look around his room. Magazine. Time to pull the plug. I didn't have time to read anything in the car apart. I'm probably not going to read this stuff. You guys can take a look and pause if you want to, but I usually read what I think pertains to the story mostly. Yeah, see, that's North. That's definitely North, or her model. Sales of Android intimate partners are expl exploding. That's definitely North's model. Androids capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep stores stocked. Though the idea seemed far-fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. Wow. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's record divorce rate seems to show that many men and women today prefer to live and an android prefer to live with an android than with a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Maybe you should stop making sex androids then. That's just, it's crazy. All right, let's go check the front room. What's this? Nothing. Wait, can I do something here? Listen, no, we're gonna look around. I think he's okay. I honestly think he's okay. What were you having for dinner? You were having another burger? Okay, so why did you have the gun out, Hank? Can I look at this? I don't want to just keep stepping over it. There we go. Question. Say nothing. Say nothing. Because I doubt... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately. But I don't think it's my place to question right now, at least. Okay. L1. Let's pick up the chair. Do a little housekeeping for Hank here. Burger? Is this the burger? Or is this something else? I feel like I should pick up the glass. Chinese food, burger, pizza... Man, Hank, you gotta look. Oh, a picture. Oh, your son. Analyze. So what happened to your son? He's dead. Cole Anderson. Hank lost his son. That's awful. So did his son die because of an android? Oh, that sucks. Oh, look at you. You look awesome. <laughs> Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Okay, so we learned one thing about Hank. I don't think I'm going to be able to check anything else. See you later, Sumo. That's an awesome name. You are huge, though. So I guess that makes sense. Russian roulette. Wait for Hank. Find picture of Hank's son. Hank is ready. Okay, so there was three things I looked like I missed there. Distant attitude. 
I'm not sure what that means. Ryle Hank's dog. Okay, seeing as this one's also pretty short, I think we're just gonna keep moving on. So let's just get going. So are we back to Marcus? Oh, are we doing the heist or whatever? Trying to get the Ethereum? That's probably what we're doing. Everything is automated. Everything. Okay, there's North. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. You need to focus. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. All right. Let's follow North. Quick scan. Follow North. Reach Cyberlife warehouse. Okay. Now, there shouldn't be any humans here, right? Because everything seems to be automated. So maybe we won't have humans. Don't get crushed, don't get crushed. Don't let them see us. Who am I hiding from? I'm just following north. I don't... I'm not hiding from... Oh. Those are humans. I assume. Watch out. Thank you. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Why didn't you guys take out your LEDs? Why do you still have your LEDs in? That's literally the only way to blend in is to take out your LEDs. This is kind of cool. I love this sort of like watchdogs type feeling that I get from Marcus. Like doing something for the greater good. I'm going to keep following north. Because at least I think that's what it wants me to do, right? Yep, follow north. Alright, we're just going to keep following her. Man, I love the parkour. Cyber life. Alright, Marcus. Let's do this. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. I'm coming, I'm coming. I did not see options there. Oh crap. I'm guessing an option was to follow Simon. Alright, up we go. I keep pressing L3 like I can run. I have no control over the running in this game at all. I gotta remind myself of that. Man, Marcus, when did you get so good? I swear it's these new legs. It has to be. Whoever's legs I stole. Okay. Cyber Life Warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. How? Leave it to me. Leave it to you? Why would you volunteer for that? Can I catch it? Oh, if I don't catch it, I'm screwed, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Time for some more pre-construction. Okay. So, the drone's there. I can jump out and completely miss it. Or, we can go up. Okay. We go, go up this way. Keep moving. We could go that way or we could go directly up. I think I want to jump. Yeah, and then we go for the android, right? Would be too far. Okay. Back up. So we have to get to the top. So that means we have to do this one. Would be too high. Really? Okay, so we do this. But we don't go for the android right away. We go this way. And then we go for the android. Oh, yeah. Execute. Let's do this. I actually get to participate now? Or no? Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, I do. Come on, Marcus. And the drone is down. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. You're welcome. 
Quick, open oh, the other yeah. crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Quick, open the crates and fill my bags. Search the crates. Okay, can I scan for something good? I'm guessing over here. Excuse me, Simon. Let's open this one. Up we go. Oh, good. More blue blood. Take it. Now, what about that drink? I'm pretty sure that was blue blood as well. Maybe she just put it in a fancy bottle. Trouble? Android. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh, crap. Grab and hide. Run away. Grab and hide. John! I need your help. John! No, we're not killing anybody. North, don't do it. Hold, release, attack, hold. He's gonna get stabbed. I know it. First the drone, now this. Oh, he's leaving. Just my luck. Don't stab him. So I'm pretty sure he already made the call, seeing as they can do the call just by, you know, thinking. Let's finish up and get out of here. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We still don't have enough. Oh, I got some more here. So we just let the android go, but he already made the call. We have to leave. Check the bigger crate. Oh, this one up here? Up we go, Marcus. What's in this crate? Is it more androids? Probably already fully made androids. Open. Again? There we go. All right, Marcus. What do we got? Yep, that's what I thought. AP 700. Why are you like us? Are they a brand new model? Free them, close the... Free them, can I do that? No freaking way I can do that. Oh my god, I can do that. Is that what I did to the other one? That's why he didn't say anything? Oh, that's so cool. Wow, Marcus. That's really cool. Everybody's That's all can carry. thing Let's went go. up. Drop. Wow. I can't get over that. That's Make awesome. Yep, he's woken too. Oh, that's so cool. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. No, we take them. Except. They come with us. I'm sorry, North. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. I'm sorry, Simon. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where do I get a key? key? Down there, in the control station. That doesn't seem too safe. Guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. See, we now you want the plan. We, have nothing. we can't take that chance. It's too risky. We gotta get the key, man. Wait here. We need this stuff. Ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. We got this. We definitely got this. Alright, Marcus. Stay on electronic key. Find the key. There's dogs. Oh no. L1. Okay, we're gonna have to not get seen because there's freaking dogs. 
Okay, can I open this? This probably won't open for me, right? Oh, it does open. Yeah, we can't go in that way. Maybe we can go in through the roof. Open this window. Okay, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's open this one. Up we go. Good thing you're a lot quieter than Connor. Where's the key, though? Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like Ready in transit. Is that the key? Is that what I need? Deal with guards. How do I deal with the guards? So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? L1. Cause a blackout. Oh, heck yeah. Can I do that? How? Okay, create short circuit. What are my other options? Something over here. Take. What is this? A screwdriver? I'm not murdering anybody. Short circuit put back. Short circuit. Let's take out the lights. Actually, no. Oh, crap. If everything's automated, would that shut down the system? You know what? Whatever. We're going to do it. This is our only option right now. We're going to do it. Here we go. Blackout. Don't be seen. Do we go back in the bathroom? Let's go back in here. Take key. Oh, okay, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Steal. There's no one in here. Come on, move. Exit. Get. You better come out right now. We good? I think we're good. Come on. Come on, get moving. Okay, we did it. I'm alive. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Have some faith, North. Nice. Get inside the truck. Ain't gotta tell me twice. Let's get the heck out of here, guys. Get in. Hurry, get in. Insert key. Drive out of the docks. Alright. Do I know how to drive? I assume I do. Okay, you're gonna turn for me, Marcus. Thank you. You're gonna turn again, aren't you? Okay, you are. So they know someone blacked out the place, but they're not going to take a look. Oh, it's automated, so why would they take a look, right? What do we do? Floor it? No, we don't. Okay, we just drive out. I'm always looking for the worst scenario here, guys. We did good. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We, we did real good. Everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. That is correct. You guys wanted to leave. Wow, my thing with Jericho is going up so fast. I came to Jericho. Here, androids are free. All right, Josh doesn't like me too much now. Free to live in kind the of. Dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. Man, Marcus. But I don't want that freedom. So much has changed so fast. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or to love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows. That I am more than what they say. Yeah. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. I hope Kara can make it here. If humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. 
What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yes, we are. But you all have to take out your LEDs. All of you. It doesn't hurt. Just pop it out. You'll heal. Spare parts. 57% complete. Looks like I missed a couple of options. I can't wait to watch somebody else's playthrough to see how they went through this. But let's take a look at the world stats. 67% stole the truck. 67% stole the key. Avoid the guards. Wow, some of their... A lot of people got caught by those guards. I wonder what the other two options were there. Because blackouts seemed the most, you know, reasonable. Maybe I could have done something with the dogs. Except, 6% refused those androids? Well, refused the key? Wow, 14% actually refused to even help the androids. 19% actually left them there? Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And also, do me a favor and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I post. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.